she's our near number one child, your first daughter, your first child, and she was she was everything. Still, still is. Two young people, Dalton Lee Ford, 22, and Taylor Nicole Garza, 21, died in an accident that included Camille Dennis Bond in April 2021. At the time, Dennis Bond was participating in street racing in Burnsville, Minnesota with her younger brother. Following the crash, there was a protracted court struggle, widespread media coverage, and popular outrage. Dennis Bond was found guilty and sentenced to jail, but the incident's fallout still affects the neighborhood, the victim's families, and the wider discussion about reckless driving. Yes, there's been a, a severe car accident on Highway 42. What's the cross County Road 42. Uh, What's the cross uh, Bubble Barn. Bubble Barn. Oh, County Road 5. County Road, County Road 5. 5. Okay, how many now, vehicles? Happened. Two, oh. two vehicles. Is anyone injured? injured? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, what kind of injuries? We don't, we don't know. know. We're just happened. driving past it. But they're completely they're totaled. Completely it looks totaled. like it's going to start on fire. Okay, you're not, are you there anymore? No, no we are not driven by. Okay, they've, they, by. stop. They've been on the way this entire time. This is just getting more information for them for when they arrive, okay? Like I said, we have a lot of help on the way. Thank you for calling. Dennis Bond and her 17-year-old brother were racing cars on Burnsville's heavily traveled County Road 42 on April 4th, 2021. Both automobiles were allegedly exceeding the speed limit by around 100 miles per hour, according to witnesses. The SUV was turning when it was struck by the car driven by Dennis Bond's brother, killing both occupants. Dalton Lee Ford was killed in an SUV collision, while Taylor Nicole Garza was seated in the passenger seat. Because of how hard the hit was, witnesses reported witnessing a horrible, chaotic scene because of the high speeds involved, the incident was even more catastrophic, shattering the SUV in half. In addition to high speeds and dangerous maneuvers, Dennis Bond's choice to drag race on a public road led in an irrevocable tragedy that devastated the families of the victims and attracted a lot of attention from local and national media. The ensuing legal proceedings were drawn out and very emotional. Dennis Bond was charged with two counts of criminal vehicular homicide, third-degree murder, and careless driving. Even though he ran in the race, her younger brother was charged separately in juvenile court. Because of Dennis Bond's age at the time of the collision, the prosecution first sought to try him as an adult, but the court rejected this move. Throughout Dennis Bond's lengthy trial, Key pieces of evidence were witness testimony, police records, and crash film. A Dakota County jury found her guilty in December 2022 of all main offenses, including criminal vehicular homicide and third-degree murder. Her brother was found guilty by the juvenile court, but he was spared a long prison term by consenting to be monitored until he became 21. The trial's emotional toll was clearly seen particularly during the sentence phase. The families of Taylor Garza and Dalton Ford expressed their profound grief and the ongoing pain their loved one's deaths had caused them in victim impact statements. The catastrophe had ruined their lives and they were looking for justice. In the end, Dennis Bond was given a 15-year jail term of which she will spend a portion under supervised release. We estimate that she will serve around 9.75 years in prison, with credit for time served before entering probation. The tragedy devastated the families of Taylor Garza and Dalton Ford. Both Ford and Garza were energetic young people with promising futures. Ford had a great interest in automotive labor and stayed actively involved in his community, even while Garza obtained her nursing degree there is a huge gap in their deaths. Following the collision, the families became outspoken supporters of public awareness raising about the risks associated with careless driving, especially street racing. The case brought attention to the problem of young people driving recklessly and endangering the lives of other drivers in addition to their own. The family has made it known that they believe this tragedy will serve as a lesson to others and that people who race illegally and drive recklessly should be subject to harsher punishments. 
the Burnsville neighborhood was greatly devastated by the crash. Many residents who were there when the incident occurred or who knew the deceased were startled and perplexed, wondering how such a tragedy could have occurred. Discussions on road safety, the response of law enforcement to irresponsible driving, and the role of community members and parents in deterring dangerous behavior among young drivers were also sparked by the incident. The terrible consequences of careless driving are brought home by the incident that Camille and Dennis Bond were in. In the past, street racing in particular has been perceived as a risky pastime that draws young drivers looking for excitement and frequently results in fatalities. The choice to race on a public road, particularly at such high speeds, shows a lack of concern for the safety of other people and emphasizes how crucial it is to strictly enforce traffic regulations. The fact that Dennis Bond was sentenced to 15 years in jail in addition to other legal repercussions shows how serious his crimes were. This case serves as a warning that driving recklessly can have serious legal consequences, including extended prison terms, and is not a minor misdemeanor. Young drivers should take note of this finding as it serves as a warning that making snap decisions while driving can have serious consequences that impact not only the victims, but also their own life. The crash's effects endure even after Camille Dennis Bond was sentenced and the lawsuit was settled. The case has sparked continuing public debates about reckless driving, street racing, and traffic safety. Lawmakers and local government representatives should push for stricter enforcement of the law to prohibit illicit racing and implement policies that deter novice drivers from engaging in such risky activities. Law enforcement has recommended launching programs to increase public awareness of the dangers of careless driving, toughening up on the penalties for street racing, and ramping up initiatives to prevent illicit races. Camille Dennis Bond, 21, was sentenced to 15 years, 180 months in prison by a judge for the accident that resulted in the deaths of 22-year-old Taylor Nicole Garza and 22-year-old Dalton Lee Ford. The incident occurred while Dennis Bond was racing her brother. She will receive credit for the 107 days of incarceration that she has already served. Dennis Bond was found guilty of criminal vehicular homicide, third-degree murder, criminal vehicular operation, and negligent driving. The incident had a profound impact on the families of the victims, as well as the community at large, and it served as a powerful warning about the perils of careless driving. We hope that ongoing discussions regarding street racing and traffic safety can avoid such events like this in the future by promoting safe driving practices, enforcing stronger restrictions, and cooperating to prevent them. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We dive into the most intriguing and shocking crime stories each week, and your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay safe and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.